Okay, and on to the next task. So now we can move on to sighting correction, box correction. So that's literally what you're doing there, is just correcting those bounding boxes. And again, that's only really useful if you're wanting to extract counts of accurate counts of the um, animals in each image. So you can use the AI generated boxes for what you can see is a very accurate estimate of the number of animals in each image. Um, and for the most part, it's very accurate, especially for sort of more solitary species. Where the AI does struggle is with um, sort of herds where there's just a massive body parts and it's a bit hard to differentiate, you know, separate individuals. Um, so, you know, with herd species, you're accurate, your counts are less accurate. But even then we find it's about 90% accurate. Um, but for stuff like leopards or anything like that, where they're more solitary, it's 99 plus percent accurate. So this step is only necessary um, for, again, for species of interest, where um, you want really, really accurate counts of, of the animals and images. Otherwise, you know, you know, it's not really necessary. If you're happy with the estimates, that's perfect. Um, this step is also useful and, and, and should be done if you're going to be doing individual ID as well, um, because we're going to run then the um, run hotspotter on those boxes and essentially you want the boxes to be correct. Otherwise, you know, the matching is not going to work so well. So it is just worth running through the images and just checking. Um, so in this case, we are going to be looking at leopards for individual ID. So we're going to go ahead and correct the, correct the leopard boxes. So I select that and launch, and then we just go ahead and wait for that to initialize as usual. Now it's ready. Let's just follow the link. You can see there's 28 clusters of leopard that we need to look at. So I just need to just take a job. So again, you can see the same interface as the multi-species differentiation. So essentially, you'll see these little hotkeys. It's A to add a sighting, so add a sighting. I can E to edit a sighting, move it around or resize it. Um, F to finish that process. Um, D to then delete the sighting, F to finish there as well. Um, again, you can still right-click and access the labels. So if you do find a mistake, you can um, relabel your species using the plus sign as before. Again, it's space point to look at the next image, and essentially, especially something like leopard with the images, the detection should be mostly correct. You're essentially just skipping through the images and trying to find mistakes. So we'll just look. Any issues? Like here, we can see the it's failed to generate the detection for this whited out image. Might, we probably, this may be not necessarily that much use in, in actually adding a sighting here, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. Now we've got multiple detections, so I can just delete that one. That's correct. F to finish. So now I only have one detection for that. Not correct. Leopards there. And we're done. Simple as that. I'm going to go back to the service page and wait for it to wrap up.